Let's review some of the concepts that we've gone over in this particular session. We started by showing how we can integrate analysis between the different analyses tools. This allows us to move seamlessly between the various analyses that we create in pivot tables, charts, and maps. We can really quickly open tables as charts, tables as maps, and vice versa. We then discussed how we could share these favorites with individual users. We shared one of these outputs with a variety of users, and we can view the sharing settings by opening up these triple arrows. We can also write interpretations for each of the individual items that we create. This can start a discussion and allow other users to respond to what we've written. We also noted that all the items created could be added to a dashboard. We can do this by adding a dashboard here within the dashboard homepage. We then add items to the dashboard by searching for them in the search field. Just like favorites, these dashboards can be shared with other users. We do this by clicking on share and then selecting the user groups that we want to share the dashboard item with. We demonstrated that this works by logging in to other users who we've shared this dashboard with. Lastly, we demonstrated the messaging and the feedback. Messaging allows us to use the user structure that we've created in DHIS2 to send messages. This includes sending to individuals belonging to specific organization units, finding users that belong to a particular user group, and finding specific users themselves. We can also write feedback. Feedback is sent to a user group that's been identified to manage the DHIS2 system. Feedback is assigned a priority and a status. This is done by that particular user group who is managing this feedback. Feedback also allows for internal replies so we can manage this feedback internally to try and come up with a solution. Once it is solved, we can then reply directly back to the user who made the feedback. This wraps up this particular session on integrated analysis, sharing, dashboards, and messaging. We covered quite a few concepts in this session, so let us know if you have any questions.